Okay, fam, so this is what's going on today. I am done painting this room. It looks really, really, really good. Um, I'm so ready to be finished so I can get my you know, life back because I haven't shaved and cut my hair or anything. So what I'm going to do is I think today I'm going to focus on, I decided last, no, I decided this morning that I'm going to take these uh, trims. I'm just going to go ahead and take them off because I know I'm going to replace them anyway. I'm going to take these uh, trims off, but the most, oh, did you hear that squeak? The most important thing that I'm doing today is getting rid of this disgusting carpet, this blue mess. Oh, I should have called this. I should have named the carpet before. But all the all the carpet colors. I'm, I mean, all the carpet in the house is gonna get pulled up, and I'm gonna. Oh yeah, that's a good nickname, the Blue Loch Ness Monster. I'm gonna pull it all up, and so that's what I'm gonna start doing right now. And then, as soon as I, well, I'm gonna say as soon as, after I pull them up, ugh, neighbors, um, I'm going to start screwing the subfloor down to the trusses because there are some areas oh no it's not doing it um where they're squeaking and stuff like that and so I just want to get it's always at the entryway see hear that squeaking so like I'm gonna screw those subfloors down and then start putting down the underlayment for the laminate and then this room will be pretty much done and I also have to cut some trim out of the MDF panels that I have and I do think that I am going to oh, excuse me today I think I'm going to run electrical downstairs from like an outlet like this in the living room and then I'm gonna move it or add an outlet entry into the floor not in here but downstairs um, that's my plan for the work today so I'll update everything as it goes along and we'll see how it all turns out today hopefully I feel like now that I'm in the house I get a lot more done I guess because I can see everything and I'm just I'm in it so look at that I mean if you ignore that like look at how clean that looks I'm so excited so happy cool happen I am kind of upset with myself because I always have a tendency to feel like I'm kitty pride and I try to squeeze into tight spaces and so while I was removing the carpet from the bedroom and I put it in the trash bags and I was taking it downstairs I knocked over the can of paint that I had left for the ceilings and um yeah so that's about Mm, ten dollars worth of paint going down the drain but i'll take it as a lesson learned and a payment to the school of stupid because that was really dumb for me to try to <laughs> like the the paint pan was literally sitting on top of the other paint can on top of an aluminum pan like it was completely unstable and i just nudged it and it toppled over i don't think i'm gonna clean it up because it's I'm about to pull it up anyways and maybe I wasn't planning on pulling it up today but I might just end up 
Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to pull it up today because I don't feel like pulling up crop anymore. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll dry before I need to take a shower. Look what I found. Yay. Thanks, fast owners. Thanks for not properly fixing stuff when it got damaged. So if you have been paying attention, you know that there was a leak coming from the bathroom. That's right over the, on the other side of this wall. And it was so bad that it went down to the, um, what is this? This is the third floor. It went down to the second floor and created a big mess. And of course, they would have had to notice that the carpet, like if this is the subfloor and it's showing this soaking pattern, they would have had to notice that the carpet was soaking wet. But of course, instead of, you know, figuring out what was going on or underneath or just checking to see if there was any issues underneath um they just let it sit here and so this is what we have now it's just this is another like little speed bump in my process so i'm gonna research what to do in this situation it wouldn't be too hard to just cut it up and then go to the big box store and have them cut a piece of this that can fit into my car, come in and drill it. And also, I was gonna come screw down all the the um, subfloor in here anyway. So it's kind of like, it's part of the thing, it's just an extra thing that I have to take out and that's really frustrating. But this is the life when you become a homeowner and I am learning quickly that it is quite exhausting. So, yeah. So crazy how how you think something is clear or clean until you actually start cleaning it. Like every time I looked at it, I was like, oh, it was pretty close to being ready. And then now that I've pulled up all the um, tacks in the floor from the carpet, and now I'm just like, my mind is blown thinking about how many times I'm gonna have to do that because there's carpet in the entire house, top to bottom, three floors, and I've only done one bedroom. <laughs> Oh, save me. Um, but yeah, so that's done. And I'm kind of tired of working on this room. So I'm going to switch it up and go downstairs and do some electrical in the, in the living room to get the outlet run into the floor. I said I was going to do it yesterday, but whatever. It didn't happen. I got kind of upset after I knocked over that can of paint. I'm going to shellac this. And since it needs to air out, it's a perfect opportunity for me to go downstairs and get that stuff done. So that's what I'm going to do. And then, once that's dry, if I feel like it tonight, I'll come in and start screwing the floor down because we got to get rid of all these squeaks. I'm happy with how it's changing so far. It's like all the squeaking, like as I walk around, all the squeaking is gone. Ah, it's kind of exciting. And also, I noticed that in this spot here, Oh, no, 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 here. Over here, where when I would walk in, um, it would kind of like pop, sort of. And that's because the wood swelled when it got wet. And so it loosened up around the nails. And so it was really, it was pretty loose um, in that spot. And so adding the screws has given it a lot more strength. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, a little over halfway done with this room with adding screws in all the spots where there are nails. It's a tedious job and I'm probably gonna invest in some of those um, knee pads because this is uh, not kind to my knees and uh, I got a whole house to do. So here we go.
Okay, so I thought it was going to be a good idea to wear these knee pads without pants. Um, I stood corrected because not only were the knee pads trash, I mean like total trash, but the bands that go behind the knee pads literally scraped all the back of my legs. So it was like the next day I had um, scratches from hell and it was like the next morning I woke up feeling like I had crawled across the sands of the Sahara on my knees. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that. And the only reason why I chose this whole ensemble is because it was high in my house and I was not trying to make myself sweat to death as I had been doing every other day. So don't judge. Y'all, it has been a long and tiring day. I think I started around 11 o'clock. Maybe it was 10.30 on this room. And just doing the first three boards, like I mentioned before, took like uh, three hours to figure out. It was lunchtime when I figured out what I was doing. And so another four hours I was able to finish the room and I don't feel excited because I'm so tired <laughs> but um hopefully I'll marvel at it a little bit more tomorrow um, I'm kind of just like right now I'm just so exhausted I'm starving I'm hot and I just want it to be over already I'm kind of frustrated what I'm learning from this process now though is to not do like heavy reno stuff back to back so, like, yesterday I did a lot of uh, cutting for the ba for the um, baseboards, skirting boards, and um, I did, uh, you know, what did I do? I think I prepped this room, and yeah, oh, I sanded the entire lip room, yeah. All of that, like, really messy, heavy work, I learned to not do back-to-back -back because it'll wear you out, and so... What I'm going to try to do is have a day of light stuff and then um, a day of more intensive stuff afterwards. So, for example, if I did the floor today in here, I'm not going to go rip up the carpet in the living room to start on that floor. What I might do tomorrow is my outlet should be in, or my switches, I should um, say for the lights in here so what i may do is i may go ahead and wire the lights that's light work i may take the hinges off oh can you see that yeah i may take the hinges off and actually soak them in um paint thinner because instead of buying new hinges i'm gonna spray paint the hinges to match my uh candles that my hardware for my doors that i'm gonna buy because I'm gonna spray paint those as well. I thought about buying new hinges and buying the hardware already in the color that I wanted, but the issue that I'm having is, as you know, with COVID, a lot of places are out of stock of certain items and they aren't able to refill them, but I know exactly the look that I want for the handles and I don't wanna sacrifice that look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of their different colors that nobody else is buying and I'm going to paint it the color that I want. And then what that allows me to do is I can paint the hinges the same exact color so they match perfectly instead of using um, this manufacturer's uh, color and then also using a spray paint or a different manufacturer's color for a different piece of hardware. Because nobody makes their hardware with their handles, it seems. So hinges aren't sold with um, doors, I guess it kind of, I mean, door handles, I guess it kind of makes sense, but whatever. So I'm probably going to do that. The, um, I'll do the same with the strike plates as well, but that's all I got. I'm going to shower and eat and rehydrate because I'm very dehydrated. And yeah, that's that. I'm, I can't believe I did it, but I can't believe it because I'm exhausted. I don't know if you can see, but I left this open because I didn't feel like it was worth 
uh, cutting boards up when I'm just gonna build out um, a wardrobe in here. So it was like, what's the point in covering that up with, or cutting a board for this mm, inch and a half of space uh, when I'm just gonna cover it up anyways. That's why I also wasn't very careful, and you can't see because it's dark. I wasn't very careful about my edges in the corners. The gap is bigger than half an inch, so it'll be pretty good enough for expansion, but I'm gonna cover it all with wardrobe built-ins anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so that's the progress, and I will see you tomorrow.